What up, good people? Today is Steaming the Tip Tuesday. Let's get into this video. So today we're going to talk about how to check all your lights on the vehicle. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because it happened to your boy Artist Speed and the Gen Coop. People were beeping at me and I'm like, yo, I know the Gen Coop look nice. And the dude right up beside me, he was like, yo, your headlights is out. And I'm like, huh? Really? And I did not pay no attention. So this is how you can check and see if your headlights is out. And so if your headlights out, just turn your vehicle on, turn the headlights on, walk in the front of the vehicle and see if all your headlights on. And also you can check to see if your high beams is out by different makes, different models on mine. You got to um, push the turn stop towards you to see if the um, high beams are working. Um, I know on the Gen Coupe I have fog lights, so I have to check the fog lights and see if the uh, fog lights is working too. Um, but if not, just take it to your local dealership or your local mechanic. And the second one is your turn signal. So the turn signals, you don't really have to get out of the car. Your car is going to indicate you and let you know, hey, your turn signals is out. The reason why I say that is because it's going to give you a hyper flash, like like that and you just got to see if it's the front um, turn signal or the back turn signal so which one ever one is out that's the one you'll replace same thing if the left one is uh, hyper flashing that one is the left one if the right one hyper flashing that is the right one so yeah the next one is checking your parking light so that means turning the vehicle on turn your headlights on and walk into the rear of the vehicle and see if all your parking lights is on. And if so, that's good. If not, you may have to replace your um, light bulbs or it may be a loosened. But yeah, we're going to go with this simple thing. You may need to replace your light bulb. So the next one is checking your brake light. So yeah, you're probably looking like, all right, cool. Checking my brake light. Well, I got to check the brake light. And how can I check my brake light? So that's when you require two people so you just the person is sitting in the car and mashing the brakes and make sure the brake lights on either somebody gonna let you know on the road hey your brake light is out you can check by getting a second person checking um mashing on the brakes and see if your brake lights out or you can back up to like where it's like glass or a mirror somewhere and yeah backing up and mashing on the brakes and you can see if your brake lights out on that one too. So yeah, if your brake lights out on that, nine cents out of ten, it is a multi uh, light. So that means your parking light will be working, but your brake light is not working. Yeah, it's crazy, but yeah, that's how that go. So the next one is check your tag light. So that's turning your vehicle on, turning your headlight on, walking to the rear of the vehicle, and see where your uh, license plate light is at. And 9 times out of 10, your license plate light is located with your license plate. So, illuminate your license plate if you didn't know. But if you do know, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you can just see if it's lighting up. If it's not lighting up, yeah, you may need to replace your uh, license plate light. And that's pretty easy. I know on the Gen Coupe and the Elantra, it's pretty easy. It's just a little tab. You know, so I had a whole video on that, how to replace the tag lights in the Elantra but not on the Gen Coop, but yeah. But if you're enjoying this video, go to smash that thumbs up button. If you're not part of the Auto Speed family, go to the subscribe button. Yo, welcome to the family. I look forward to seeing you next video.